if you look at some of the complaints that has come from the soldiers at the war front, especially fighting Boko Haram and all of that, sometimes they're feeding or the proper welfare that they need. So if they don't have all of this put together, why do we have the budget? And apart from the budget, why do you, how do you fight insecurity with your opponent, the person you're fighting? having more sophisticated equipment or, t or tools than you do? Well, um, we, we, we don't really have so much incident of um, hot chase and engagement when we look at it, except for the military that has to deal with insurgency. That is another type of insecurity. And, but the ones that affect the citizens, particularly uh, within the uh, internal happenings of the states, is different from the one that the military is handling. Mm -hmm. Now, when you, when you look at it, you find out that, yes, our military is armed to a certain point to be able to deal with that. No comes. But I think that the military so far, the complaints we've had in public, have always been issue of compromise within the system, not issue of ammunition. We've had that our soldiers are armed and they are given um, you know, sufficient arms and facilities to be able to combat these people. You see them with armored cars, you see them with, you know, but they are, security is beyond that. Mm -hmm. What about the security within the states? The man who is kidnapping a little baby or carrying someone's SS child or kidnapping an adult, is, he, is it armed with so much gun that our police should not be able to combat it? So we, the, there's, the, there's this security discipline that is not even there. Currently now, the way our security architecture is built is that if anyone carries a human head from Burukri, the chances of him driving from Burukri out of River State into Imo State without anybody dictating it is 90%. As long as you're ready to pull out that change from your pocket, as long as you're ready to do that, so most of the time when I'm in a vehicle and the police stops, to search. Even if I'm a lawyer, I subject myself to that security architecture of a particular state, the police. So they got some persons to provide, commit a crime, provide a hideout, and then see how the police is going to trace. This would, police kept reducing the parameter in which this thing would have happened. So first they had an entire, um, um, uh, uh, what they call it, uh, entire region. And then they followed the phone calls, followed how the Zen happened, they reduced it. They kept following until finally they came to the exact place. They put the dogs to the use and all that. Where are the dogs? The last time we checked budget, they said they were feeding dogs more than they are feeding prisoners. And yet people are in the forest, they are in the place, phone calls are coming, and we don't have dogs going in to chase. So again, you keep saying that something is wrong somewhere, and I, I keep saying that it is an issue of command. The, the, the command of ch uh, the, uh, the chain of command because at one point that chain of command is broken or it is compromised and before you know they have stopped